Hey everybody, Jim here at Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Well, promises made, promises kept. We have an update for you on the latest news from Cernova and their cell pouch system. They just reviewed this and shared the findings at a conference, a medical conference in Spain yesterday. We got the whole story for you right here and uh, it's good news. Hit the like and subscribe if you would. That helps us to reach more people around the world with important news like this right here. Okay, let's unpack the Cernova cell pouch and their latest results. Encouraging Cernova cell pouch results five years in. Here are the important points of their press release and the implications for type 1 diabetics. Cernova announces new positive data from Phase 1, 2 trial regarding islet survival and function. Abundant, richly vascularized, and functioning islets observed throughout all chambers of Cernova's cell pouch more than five years after islet transplantation. Histological data confirms that healthy beta, alpha, and delta cells secrete insulin, glucagon, and somatostatin in all cell pouch chambers. Cernova's cell pouch safely contains its therapeutic cells and provides full retrievability using conventional instruments and methods. Pathology confirmed no evidence of detrimental fibrotic tissue associated with cell pouch more than five years after implantation. New positive data from its ongoing Phase 1, 2 trial, focusing on the survival and function of islets in their cell pouch system, aimed at treating type 1 diabetes, T1D. The interim results show that all six patients in cohort A achieved sustained insulin independence after donor islet transplantation, with one patient remaining insulin-free for over four years, maintaining healthy blood sugar levels, HbA1c 6.5%. After over five years of implantation, the explanted cell pouch showed healthy, well-vascularized islets producing insulin, glucagon, and somatostatin. Importantly, no evidence of fibrosis or degradation was found in the cell pouch, and it remained fully retrievable using conventional methods. These findings offer promising insights into this treatment's long-term efficacy and safety, which could eventually lead to a functional cure for T1D. Cernova is advancing to cohort C and is working on optimizing its immune suppression regimen, alongside developing a scalable cell source with Evitec using stem cell-derived islet-like clusters. What are the next steps? We believe this first in-world data is significant for Cernova and, more specifically, provides tangible hope for T1D patients that we are a significant step further in our mission of providing a functional cure for this terrible disease. As a type 1 diabetic myself I could not be more determined to drive our program forward and ultimately onto the market," said Jonathan Rigby, President and CEO of Cernova. We look forward to completing cohort B in the near term and, based on positive data generated thus far, initiating cohort C of our ongoing trial later this year with an optimized immune suppression regimen. Now that's good news. As this channel covered in another video, Cernova and Evitec have joined forces to theoretically mass-produce homegrown islet cells, or induced pluripotent stem cell IPSC, derived islet-like clusters, negating the need for cells from a cadaver pancreas. If this science can be scaled up, the implications for type 1 diabetics around the globe will be historic. Let's talk a little about the trial. The Phase 1, 2 trial is a U.S. prospective, single-arm, multi-cohort study evaluating the safety, tolerability, and efficacy of Cernova's cell pouch in combination with transplanted human donor islets in people living with type 1 diabetes, T1D. The trial includes participants aged 18 to 65 with T1D who experience hypoglycemic unawareness and severe hypoglycemic episodes, and who are eligible for donor islet transplantation. The trial is currently divided into two cohorts. Cohort A involved six patients who received the first-generation 8-channel cell pouch. Cohort B is evaluating seven patients transplanted with an optimized 10-channel cell pouch, which has a 50% greater islet capacity than the cell pouch used in cohort A. As part of the process, patients are implanted with the cell pouch subcutaneously, or under the skin, approximately six weeks later, allowing time to establish a stable immunosuppression therapy for the patient, islets are transplanted into the prevascularized tissue chambers formed by the cell pouch. Safety and efficacy are assessed throughout the 12 months following the last islet transplant. Patients still dependent on insulin six months after the second islet transplant may qualify for a third transplant via the portal vein. Those who retain implants will be followed for at least three years. 
The secondary objectives of the trial include the following efficacy endpoints, continuous glucose monitoring, production of C-peptide, insulin use, HbA1c levels, and the frequency of severe hypoglycemic episodes. These are very exciting developments and this channel will follow the progress very closely. Okay, I'm jazzed about that. I hope you are too. Um, I was looking forward to this information when we found out that they were going to be uh, reviewing this information at this medical conference. I think they're moving along as fast as they can. And I am really excited about this technology and the cell pouch. And if they bring this to fruition and Evotech, their partner, is able to mass produce beta cells that in theory will be able to replicate our DNA. You know, we made it to the moon and that was 50 something years ago. So I am very confident. I like to always look at the upside. God knows this is depressing enough. So we need good news. We need wins like this. And I think that's what they delivered today. I'm very positive about it, and I hope you are too. Thank you for hanging out with us today at Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. We will have another video for you very soon. And as always, we are looking for the most interesting content to deliver to you and give you hope about a cure for Type 1 diabetes in the future. We'll see you again real soon. Have a wonderful weekend.